BMO 2020 problem number four British Mathematical Olympiad round two so let's see the problem problem four is the following Matthew writes down a sequence, a sequence a1, a2, a3, and so on of positive integers. Each a n is the smallest positive integer different from all previous terms in the sequence such that the mean of the terms a1, a2, 2, a n is an integer. Prove that the sequence defined by a i minus i for i equals 1, 2, 3, and so on contains every integer exactly once so we first consider again one of the important ideas consider a small examples a1 we want to consider a1 a2 so a1 is the smallest positive integer that the mean is integer so you can put it 1 and 1 plus something over 2 must be integer so this is an odd number and the smallest odd number that we've not choose is 3 and now again you can find the next number 2 because we want that the addition of these three numbers be multiple of 3 so you can write 2 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6 now we find all the AI here you say 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6 6 plus what is a multiple of 4 6 plus 2 is a multiple of 4 but we've chosen 2 so we must put 6 now again you can keep going and find the others and now we want to write bi we know that bi is ai minus i so 1 minus 1 is 0 3 minus 2 is 1 2 minus 3 is minus 1 6 minus 4 is 2 8 minus 5 is 3 6, 4 minus 6 is minus 2 as and we can see that this is 0, this is 1, this is minus 1. So until here we have minus 1, 0, 1. Now here we have 2. So we have minus 1, 0, 1, 2. We have 4 consecutive numbers, consecutive integers. And now here 3 again. And we can understand that when we have, for example, b1, 2, bn, there are n consecutive integers like we can start from minus n minus s plus 1 minus s minus s plus 1 to 0 and to 1 here we have s elements plus 1 and we have n elements in all so the positive integers are 1 2 n minus s minus 1 now we write bi equals ai minus i and we know that we can conclude that ai equals bi plus i if we take minus i to the opposite side now we write a1 plus a2 plus a n equals b1 plus b2 to bn plus 1 plus 2 n as if you use this formula we reach this and b1 to bn is minus s uh, to um, n minus s minus 1 we can write 1 plus n so minus s is 1 minus s plus 1. We reach minus s. 2 minus s plus 1 is minus s plus 1. So we can write b1 to bn like this. 1 plus 2 plus n minus n times s plus 1. Okay. Plus 1 to n. And it will be 2 times 1 to n. It will be n times n plus 1. Minus n times s plus 1. Now. We know that. If we consider a1, 2, a, n plus 1, we substitute the previous term that we've reached, n times n plus 1 minus n times s plus 1. This term, a1 to a, n equals this term plus a, n plus 1. And we know that we must choose the smallest positive integers that is new. And a1 plus 2, a, n plus 1 is a multiple of, be a multiple of n plus 1. So, if we consider, so let's write, we can write it in this form. Let's erase it and erase it again. So, we can write this mod n plus 1 equals 0. 
Now, we know that uh, if we consider the congruency mod n plus 1, this will be 0 and n equals minus 1. And you substitute n with minus 1, so it will be plus and plus s plus 1. And if we take this term to the right hand side, then we can say a n plus 1 equals is congruent to minus s minus 1 mod n plus 1. Now, we know that a n plus 1 is an integer number, is a positive integer, so it will be n plus 1 plus this term, it is n minus s, and we know that this is positive because minus s, we had minus s to n minus s minus 1, and s is less than n, because if we consider the small example, we can see that we have also 0 and positive numbers if we start from here, so s is less than n, so n minus s is positive integers, so a n plus 1, as, uh, if we use this congruency, we can say it's n minus s, or n plus 1 plus this term, it will be 2 n plus 1 minus s, or the next terms. Now, if a n plus 1 equals n minus s, and if we mm, have not chosen this term, and if it's new, then b n plus 1 is n minus s minus n plus 1. It will be minus s minus 1. So we proved what we wanted to say. Minus s minus 1. Again, we have n plus 1 consecutive integers. And if a n plus 1 equals 2 n plus 1 minus n minus s, then b n plus 1 is this term minus n plus 1. Uh, and it will be n minus s. Again, n minus s if we put n minus s here. This is, again, we have n plus 1 consecutive numbers and the problem will be solved. But if n, a n plus 1 is not equal to these two terms, we can say that um, there is j, and there exists a j between 1 and n that a j equals 2 n plus 1 minus s. So we can choose for a n plus 1. It's not new. So bj equals aj minus j, it's greater than or equal to aj minus n, because j is less than or equal to n. And if we substitute uh, aj with this term, we will reach n 2n plus 1 minus s minus n. We will reach n plus 1 minus s. So bj is greater than this term, n plus 1 minus s, but we know that bj is at most n minus s minus 1, but this is greater that than n minus s minus 1, so we will reach contradiction. And now we can say that a n plus 1 equal, is uh, equal to n minus s for this term, and we can prove what we wanted by induction, and the problem has been solved.